Good morning. Good morning. Hello, it's Michael here. And for our devotion today, we're looking at Hosea. And really, when you read scriptures, some of the most unimaginable things come to <laughs> your presence because you never thought of it. And also, you run into areas that you don't quite understand. And it does take time to understand or more familiarity with the scriptures. And so, because our verse is coming from Hosea 1, I think it's verse 6, we're going to read uh, a couple of verses of that chapter. And uh, we're going to read from verse 1 down to verse 7. Hosea chapter 1. Let's read. The word of the Lord that came unto Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms, and children of whoredoms. For the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblaim, which conceived and bare him a son. And the Lord said unto him, Paul is named Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to cease the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again, and bare a daughter, and God said unto him, Call her name Laruhahem, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. And so, this verse 7 is the one we're exposing on today by Spurgeon. And he subtitles it, Victory Without Battle. And just refresh that verse. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horse, nor by horsemen. So Spurgeon expounds, Precious word, Jehovah himself will deliver his people in the greatness of his mercy, but he will not do it by the ordinary means. Men are slow to render to God the glory due unto his name. If they go to battle with sword and bow and win the victory, they ought to praise their God, yet they do not, but begin to magnify their own right arm and glory in their horses and horsemen. For this reason, our Jehovah often determines to save his people without second means, that all the honor may be to himself alone. Look then, my heart, to the Lord alone and not to man. Expect to see God all the more clearly when there is no one else to look to. If I have no friend, no adviser, no one at my back, let me be none the less confident if I can feel that the Lord himself is on my side. Yea, let me be glad if he gives victory without battle, as the text seems to imply. Why do I ask for horses and horsemen if Jehovah himself has mercy upon me and lifts up his arm for my defense? 
Why need I bow or sword if God will save? Let me trust and not be afraid from this day forth and forevermore. Amen. Yes, ever living, ever sure. I look to you, Lord. I look to you, Lord. My total salvation is in you, Jesus. I trust you enjoy the reading of the word and the exposition. This is Michael declaring, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed. Enough love. The soul of the